Joining us now to discuss, Lieutenant Stephen Rogers, former New Jersey police lieutenant and U.S. Navy officer, a.k.a. Captain America. Thanks so much for being back with us. It's great to have you. My pleasure. Thank you. Of course. So the Marine will now face criminal charges by Alvin Bragg, a Soros-backed district attorney. Uh, what do you make of this, Captain America? Is this business as usual, or could this perhaps be politically motivated? Well, look, to begin with, it is an act of heroism. This Marine risked his life to save others. Here you have an individual uh, out of control, uh, allegedly uh, looking to kill people uh, and causing uh, acts of violence that was threatening not only to the Marine, but others in that area. So this was certainly uh, an act of heroism. Uh, regarding Alan Bragg, if there's any coward uh, or any person in this country should be labeled a coward, it should be him. It's easy for him to sit behind a desk, uh, not worrying about getting mugged or robbed or beaten and make decisions like he did. I believe that at the end of the day, this Marine will be exonerated, but it is a tragedy that he must go through uh, this uh, unbelievable, uh, uh, unwarranted process in order for him to be cleared. And by the way, let me add, uh, this doesn't do uh, us any good when a message from the DA is sent to everyone else. You get involved, you try to protect yourself, you're going to go to jail. Yeah, absolutely. It's just so backwards and it's baffling that this is uh, where we're at in society. Um, and, you know, I honestly think that if the roles are reversed, uh, the outcome here may have been much different, right? I mean, it's just this constant um, repeated, regurgitated information that uh, the liberals only see this type of stuff as white on black crime. Why do you think that is? Well, you know, they have a narrative. Look, they're, they're trying to continue to pass their woke agenda. But, you know, it goes through my mind with all of these uh, people who are uh, seeking uh, an individual like this Marine to be punished. Uh, in my view, and I'm sure I'm right, I don't think they've ever been victimized by a crime. Yeah. I don't think they've ever had a gun pointed out them, at them or a family member beaten. My entire career, I've seen things like that happen. You know what people say to me? I wish I had a gun. Yeah. I wish there was someone there to protect me. Yeah, absolutely. That is indeed the answer to many of these issues. But of course, they're trying to take those away from us, too. Now, uh, Daniel Penny has been released on bond, and some legal experts say the DA is likely to refer this to a grand jury for consideration. Um, so a group of citizens will ultimately review the evidence to determine if they've got enough on him to proceed with criminal charges. Uh, do you think there's a reason for concern that the grand jury could potentially be influenced by external pressures? Oh, yeah, absolutely. Look, I... Uh... Uh, it's a tragedy what's happening in New York. In my view, the entire criminal justice system is uh, morally bankrupt. It's corrupted. Uh, they should uh, change the venue and get this guy in a state where he will be, uh, a grand jury will be convened with fairness on their mind. You've already got the DA saying, well, you know, he committed manslaughter. How does the DA know that? The DA has no idea what was in that Marine's mind, which was, I believe, no intent to kill this individual. To get a fair trial in New York these days, in my view, is impossible. Yeah, it sure seems that way, sadly. Uh, how do local officials ensure a safe city, and how do you even begin to clean up New York at this point? Is it far past the point of return, or do you think there's any way to uh, sort of turn this horrible situation around? Well, there is a way, and unfortunately, it's going to be a very tough way. Every business in that city needs to exit. Uh, people need to leave that city in groves. They, and, and believe me, I thought I would never say this. Or I'm a Brooklyn guy, all right? Uh, they need to bankrupt the city uh, because it's all about money. It's all about what the stockholders have invested in that city. So uh, short of anything else, which would be to elect people to office that will serve the best interests of the people, uh, you got to bankrupt the city. So I say exit, leave. Your life is in danger, ladies and gentlemen, when you go into the city of New York, at least in my view. For all our viewers asking where One America News is heading in the future, we would like to introduce you to OAN Live. OAN Live is the best way to stay up to date on all of the hard-hitting, straight-shooting, national and international headlines. And the best part is, OAN Live is only $4.99 per month. All the credible, honest, unbiased reporting One America News offers at a fraction of the cost of cable. Just go to OANN.com to easily sign up for OAN Live and stay informed.